Okay, today I am going to start working on bluing my grip safety that I showed in the other video. Um, I've already sanded it with 180 grit sandpaper, 220 grit sandpaper, and 1500 grit sandpaper and to, to polish up the places where it had lots of scratches. It's not quite as smooth as I would like, but I'm going to go with it the way it is and see what happens. So I'm telling you what I'm going to do because I'm assuming that a lot of this video I'm going to just either speed up or put music over it or both. But the point is all these places that are shiny need to be blued. And the Brownells Oxfo blue that I have is really old. So I'm going to use this super blue even though the super blue is a little bit old. It's not that old. I used it probably last year for a shotgun. And we'll see how it comes out. I don't know if it's even going to look good. But that's what we're going to try with the super blue. So the shiny parts have been sanded, like I said. What I'm going to do is I'm going to heat it up with a hair dryer to warm it up. Which is not what it says to do on the instructions. But my experience bluing other stuff has taught me that usually it comes out a lot better if it's warm. You know, heated with a hair dryer. So I'm going to heat it with a hair dryer. I've already cleaned it with denatured alcohol. And I'm wearing gloves so I don't get any other stuff on it. And I'm going to film the whole thing in between coats of super blue. I'm going to rinse it in this cup with some water and then dry it off on this old t-shirt. So you're going to see all that hopefully. And then after that, after it gets dried off and all that, I'll probably dunk it in this denatured alcohol again to start over like multiple layers but we'll see what happens so i'm gonna take it from there and like i said i'll probably roll some music in so that you don't hear all the blow drying all the other stuff so i'm gonna do that first right now I'm gonna blow dry it to heat it up Once you have a good even color, you want to take some oil and rub it on the area that's been re-blued. And then it kind of soaks in and darkens it up. And um, I've found that letting it sit overnight, sometimes reapplying it once a day for a couple days, really helps darken it up as well. So we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I'm going to let it sit overnight. It looks like the color came out pretty good. It's not going to be quite as gray or, or black as the original part was. But it's going to be good enough, I believe, to blend in so that when the beaver tail is sitting in the frame, you're not going to see any 
silver, you know, raw metal or any kind of uh, shiny discoloration. And if in the long run I don't like it, then I can buy a different kind of blowing compound and redo it again. So I'll get a last look at it tomorrow and film what it looks like after it's darkened up overnight. perfect but it looks pretty good so I'm happy enough with it as always thanks for watching have a great day